Okay, let's go. With a strong year for air travel, a positive performance by the accommodation sector, solid growth in cruise visits, and faster than expected rise in stayover arrivals, the Caribbean Tourism Organization is pleased to report that the state of Caribbean tourism is sound. In a clear demonstration of strong demand for travel and for Caribbean vacations in particular, a record 26.3 million visitors came to enjoy the Caribbean's unequaled and diverse experiences in 2014, spending a record 29.2 billion US dollars. This means that in 2014, 1.3 million more visitors came to the Caribbean than in 2013, which itself was a record year, representing a 5.3% rise and well above the projected 2 to 3% increase. These visitors spent just over a billion dollars more than they did in 2013. So strong was the demand for Caribbean vacations that we outperformed the rest of the world, which, according to the UN World Tourism Organization, recorded a growth rate of 4.7%. This robust showing for the Caribbean was based on the fact that the traditional markets performed well. Canada, which was flat in 2013, rallied strongly, the US maintained healthy growth, and Europe topped 5 million visitors for the first time since 2008. The intra-regional market performed reasonably well in 2014, although it's a long way from where we would wish it to be. We remain concerned over intra-regional travel to the sub-regional grouping, the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, the OECS. Demand for intra-regional travel to the OECS countries remained depressed for most of 2014, with preliminary estimates suggesting that this market segment contracted by over 3%. In terms of the performance of our sub-regions, the Dutch Caribbean saw the highest growth, followed by Cancun, Cozumel, Cuba, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Suriname, and the U.S. territories. All other sub-groupings recorded increases, except for the French Caribbean, where the performance was flat. An analysis of data provided by Smith Travel Research, a U.S. company which tracks overall performance of the hotel sector, reveals that Caribbean hotels earned more revenue last year than in 2013. Room occupancy rates improved slightly and revenue per available room was up 5.7%. 2014 was a strong year for air travel, not only regionally but globally. Airlines doing business in the Caribbean were adding seats to destinations to which they already fly, while some are adding new destinations, and as a result, capacity to Latin America and the Caribbean increased 6%, according to IATA, the International Air Transport Association. Like stayover visits, the cruise sector's performance was strong last year, rebounding from a rise of just over 2% in 2013 to post an 8% rise in 2014. There were nearly 24 million cruise passenger visits compared to around 22 million in 2013. And now to the outlook for Caribbean tourism in 2015. Clearly, last year, the Caribbean's tourism industry was the strongest on record. There's no doubt that political and economic conditions, increased airline seat capacity, improved airport facilities, increased room stock, as recognized, hotel chains established themselves in our destinations, and new initiatives in the marketplace all contributed to this success. And there's reason to be optimistic that we will continue this trend in 2015. Increased economic activity in our region's major source markets, and the fact that several of our member countries have negotiated additional routes with the airlines to increase seat capacity during the year, should lead to higher demand for Caribbean vacations. At the same time, hotel brands are making substantial investments, bringing new rooms to the market, indicating rising confidence in the industry and in the Caribbean region. In regard to cruise passenger arrivals, the outlook is slightly less optimistic. While the Caribbean will remain the number one cruise destination worldwide, the 2015-2016 Cruise Industry News Annual Report is suggesting that some ships will be repositioned away from the region. Consequently, we anticipate a slight decline in capacity regionally, with growth in cruise passenger arrivals remaining flat. With those comments, and taking everything else into account, the outlook for Caribbean tourism is positive, and we project a further 4-5% to 5 increase in arrivals in 2015.